it going on guys? Back with another video. There are, there is one tank that I want to show you guys in this video that I said I might want to combine with the 30 gallon that is in my room. All right, but I wasn't sure about it because I like the tank where it is and well, frankly, I'm still looking at it and I still love the tank where it is right now. So I'm thinking we're gonna see, we're gonna keep this one here and do a whole new setup in my room in a 30 gallon. But that tank I wanted to show you is this one right here. Now this is my 10 gallon aquarium that is planted. Now there's a single neon tetra right there. Now don't get it wrong, he is the only neon tetra that's in here. Uh, the other fish that I have in here, so I have, there's a bunch of fish I have in here. As a matter of fact, you can kind of see one right there. That's not actually a fish, that's a snail. Uh, but there's no one right there. If you just saw that, let's go over here so we can get them. Right there. Longfin leopard danios. There's five of them in here. There's two snails. My heater's right there. You know, and then the star of the show is that guy right there, my angelfish. Now on this tank, I'm running just a normal 20 inch light and then that. Aqua clear, 20. I'm pretty sure it's a 20. It looks like a 20, so it must be a 20, right? In any event, you can see how nice this tank looks sitting right here. So that's why I'm not really sure if I want to put it in, if I want to combine it with one in my room. But, so you can kind of stick right over there. A little corridor, a little catfish right there. Ah, that's better view right there. There we go. You know, there's only about, there's only a 50 watt heater on this thing. Um, you know, because typically on a 10 gallon, you really don't need that much heat power. Uh, normally you can get away with a pretty small heater on these things. Um, I typically tend to go five watts per gallon, um, just to offset a little bit more. Um, but these ones, this 10 gallon tank was actually originally in my room on my bureau and um <clears throat> you know after wanting to space my room out a little bit because i had six tanks in my room at one point you know i decided to put it out here with my mom's permission obviously because my mom would have freaked if she saw this thing out here and just randomly came home to it one day of being out here um this is a uh, planted aquarium, as you can see by all these live plants in here. Some are doing very well, like these ones over here, and this one. Some of them, like that one in the back, you can see by that leaf right there on it. It's not doing the best, but uh, it is still you know, a very good planted aquarium. You can see down here the substrate. You can see how there's the, uh, the, the uh, dark brown or black uh, substrate. That is the same planted substrate that is in uh, my other tank in the 30 and then you have a nice white white gravel topping over all of it um, This tank is actually pretty easy. Uh, it's very at, at this point. It's uh, Self-maintaining uh, I still have to do a water change every so often on it just to uh, Make sure that it's still within parameters, but if you can master the idea of a planted aquarium uh, it's so much easier on the maintenance end of things. Um, you know, get the right size filter, let it cycle, get some plants in there, get a nice plant substrate so they always have the nutrition that they need. Um, for the record, this plant right here that now takes up literally half the tank started off as a plant that was probably about that big. You know, uh, as far as 10 gallon of the aquariums go, I do like them. Uh, they tend to be easier to put in certain spots and uh, easier to um, maintain. It's not as much on the um, maintenance end of it. One thing I will say is a con would definitely be that because of how small they are, water parameters are, are uh, changed very easily. Um, 
that's the biggest thing about these ones. If uh, one thing goes wrong with them, they tend to be, uh, they tend to go wrong very quickly, as opposed to um, like a 75 gallon that come out of the living room, where if something starts to go wrong with them, uh, odds are, as long as you're doing regular water changes, it will never become an, it, I won't say never become an issue, but it will become less, it, it won't be as much of an issue as fast. Um, but uh, this is a, a very healthy uh, tank. Uh, and uh, everything, see? Look at that, my little Koi's the one out there. Is he over there? Yeah, he's over there. Yeah, but uh, this is all in all, a very healthy aquarium. Uh, they tend to, you know, I, plants can make everything a lot easier, you know, cause they will take out some of the stuff in the water that's harmful to fish or not, even if it's not harmful to fish, they will take out some of the stuff in there that the fish don't necessarily need. Uh, not to mention the, uh, nitrite cycle will definitely benefit from plants being in your aquarium. Uh, this is the most planted tank I have in my house, and it is also the least amount of maintenance. Uh, but this is my 10 gallon. It is planted, and it has one great fish right there. That's a koi angel fish right there. For those of you who don't know. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Alright guys, until next video.